I'm Graham Southall, editor of BBC Sky Night magazine. It's 10 to 9 in the morning, Saturday the 8th of September. And we're on our way to the Astronomy Festival 2007, Hurstman Circle. Okay, Marcus, you've just given a talk in the Sky at Night Marquee. How did it go? Well, I was very pleased, actually. Um, the most impressive thing was I was interrupted by Sir Patrick Moore. Uh, he turned up just as I was uh, halfway through my talk, and I, for a moment I thought he was actually going to come in and uh, join the talk. Did you get any interesting questions? Yeah, I had an interesting question about... Um, I was talking about Elvis, you know, living in another space domain, and someone really wanted to know whether that was concrete uh, and wasn't just some kind of um, you know prediction of some off-the-wall theory and I actually told him that it's in fact concrete that in fact if you were to walk, walk a certain number of meters you know in a particular direction you will actually find a surviving Elvis. So Stuart welcome to Hurstman sir. Thank you it's great uh, to be here. You've done a talk on your book The Sun Kings. Yes yeah it went well I was really pleased with it so nice nice cozy half an hour nice re uh, attentive audience and um, I'm pleased to say that loads of them bought the book so I couldn't be happier. And do you have a message for Sky at Night readers? Yeah keep reading the best astronomy magazine in the UK. <laughs> And then, of course, the Sky at Night magazine. And this, I think, is a great innovation. It's been going now for some time, as you can see, it's flourishing. I think it does things that no other magazine can do. It has the very, very good contributors from all over the world. So, and the Sky at Night magazine is a tremendous success. I was broadcasting Clyde, and I said this The first men of the eight are now around the moon. They're on the far side. We can't hear them. We can't see them. They have a lot of touch. In less than a minute now, they'll come round the edge and we hear their voices. And let's hope they come round at the right moment, as there's no risk to be. Very busy. Well, now we'll wait. In less than one minute now, we hear the voices of the first men down the road. And if this is one of the great moments in human history, they wait and we hear them. And the BBC switched over to Jack and Dory. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said to me, the flying sort of ended in my garden, which when the men came out, what did I say? I would say, good afternoon, to your company. <laughs> Please come and leave the nearest TV studio. <laughs> and next, must be anything from the sky that day. <laughs> I'd like to thank uh, Sir Patrick Moore for coming here today and also can we make this round of applause a thank you for the last 50 years.
Emily, you've been in the Sky at Night Marquee today. I have. How's it been going? It's wonderful, very busy, very comfortable, very fun. And Patrick loves it and we all love it. Have you had many questions from people? Um, yes, lots of different questions, lots of magazine questions, lots of astronomy questions. And we've got the Q&A section later, which is going to be very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Chris, we're just about at the end of uh, Sunday, the 9th, just wrapping up. Uh, how do you think it's gone this weekend at Hurstman, sir? I think we've had a great weekend. It's been really, really nice. We've been very lucky with the weather. Um, we've had sun on both days, um, which has really pulled the, uh, the crowds in. Um, we've had great fun talking to the readers and hearing all about their, their stories and their experiences. Yeah, so we've had a really good weekend and uh, can't wait to come back next year.